What's going on out there, TV land? Welcome back. It's your Midwest rock star, Johnny Five. Now, yeah, Jay Sterling, back with another episode of The Grub. Uh, today, what we'll be making is something that Olive Garden will not be able to hold a flame to our candle with, steak Alfredo, cheesy steak Alfredo. What we have here is some mushrooms, fresh Parmesan cheese, butter, uh, heavy cream, uh, obviously your noodles, and I have a filet steak, and also a New York strip steak. Uh, mushrooms, your seasoning, olive oil, of course, and all your utensils and everything you will need for this. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you'll want to do is put your whole stick of butter in. One stick of butter or a half of cup of butter. Um, the best to use probably unsalted butter. It tastes better and it's not as salty. Um, like I said before, I really don't care for salty food. So you're going to want to cook this on medium to low heat. Okay, you don't want to burn butter in your pan. So go ahead and start to get this melting and that's what we're going to do. Um, I already have my water over there ready. Uh, for boiling, I haven't started to boil the water yet for the noodles. So if you see that over there, that's what that's for. Next, you will have your minced garlic that I already did and two cups of heavy cream. So we're going to go ahead and pour your heavy cream right in that butter. Uh, go ahead and pour all, all of that in there. Like I said, you want to have this on medium to low heat uh, just to have a nice simmer to it. You don't want to boil this okay so went over here thumbs up already I already showed that and we're gonna go ahead and now put our garlic yes let's get a close-up jiggle jiggle wiggle wiggle, wiggle wiggle with it the camera yes that is garlic uh, smell it smell it it looks good yeah 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 so we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw this in here and uh, like I said we just want to go ahead and simmer this uh, this is your sauce that you're making, your cheesy sauce. Uh, and I just grab this thing. I see it all the time on TV, so I thought it'd be funny and cool to do that. Uh, I don't know. And then go ahead and mix that up and stir it a little bit um, while it's starting to simmer uh, to get everything, the juices flowing and your seasoning for your sauce ready. Uh, and then next, what we're going to add, we have our pepper. So I went, yeah, yeah, inappropriate. But hey, I still keep it kind of kid friendly. Uh, go ahead and crank this pepper. I, I think I gave it about four to six uh, cranks. I like pepper. I said that before. So that's going to be to your own discretion of how many you want. So I went in there and cranked six. I like pepper. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and bust out the salt. Yes. I'm not a huge salt fan. So I went ahead and just cranked uh, one is probably like a half of one crank of salt Let's look at those muscles yes he works out thumbs up and we're just gonna go ahead and stir this now and while I'm stirring this we can take a moment of silence while I sit on this kamasi And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. For those that are just now tuning in, we are making some steak cheesy Alfredo that is better than Olive Garden. So, uh, what I just gestured right there is just let this come to a simmer, and I'm showing you right now that it is simmering. Look at that. Yes, not boiling, but just a nice slow simmer. Uh, if you just don't want to boil it, because if you boil it, then you may mess up your whole... Uh, sauce that you're creating so next what we're going to want to do is put our half a cup of uh, grated parmesan cheese in there uh, I think I put a little bit more than a half a cup uh, I like cheese you may like cheese uh, I try to do it all nice and smooth right there and hashtag failed but just go ahead and dump all that in there it's not going to hurt so once you got your cheese and your mix that you were already created uh, in there you're just going to go ahead and stir that up yes get those muscles cranking and yeah it is starting to smell really good and you can see my pretty mug right there yeah thumbs up let's go uh hashtag what's up 
in my Colby voice, baby Colby voice. <laughs> That's my little buddy. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and, like I said, stir this up. And while I'm stirring that up, I'm gonna take a moment of silence so I can sip. All right, and we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with some nice steak. Alfredo coming your way. Uh, all I'm doing is just giving it a nice stir to even uh, out everything that we just put in here, the salt, pepper, uh, garlic, and the heavy cream, and the cheese. So we just want to make this thick. It doesn't look thick yet, but it will thicken up eventually. Uh, one thing that I didn't show you guys earlier uh, in the start of the video is that I added some cream cheese to this mix. Uh, I didn't put a whole lot into the cream, or a whole lot of cream cheese in there, but I did add some in there, and it, it gave it a little bit of kick and pizzazz. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna bust it out here in a few seconds. Taste that. Taste it. Thumbs up. It tastes good right now. How it is. So uh, what I'm doing right now is just gonna let it simmer. A little bit more and make sure it's cooking on low or medium heat but in the summer I keep saying simmer because if you cook this on high heat and boil your sauce you will ruin it and then yeah don't blame me and you can't blame me because I told you the correct way to do it so uh, go ahead and put that on low heat put your lid on and uh, I know I usually don't time these things out or whatever but I did with this one yeah right there eight minutes you're going to want to let that uh, simmer down. Uh, I went and added the cream cheese. Thumbs up for cream cheese. Yes. Uh, also, I didn't put that much cream cheese in there. I know how cream cheese can hurt some uh, some people's stomach. If you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Yeah, wait. Well, I can't do it. I can't do it. Even when they make that sound, whatever. Like, you know, dropping the kids off at the swimming pool. Anyways, uh, that was my joke. Do doom doom yeah, I'm a comedian and I suck. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stir this uh, cream cheese in here and let it melt. Um, also, you're going to get uh, your water started and boiling for your noodles. And you can see the wardrobe change from Johnny Five Houdini, man. Dang, this kid got skills. Um, switch to the PJs. Yeah, got comfortable. Comfortable while cooking, yeah. Come on, give them thumbs up for that one. Forget about it. Uh, so next, what I'm going to, uh, what you're going to want to go ahead and do, what I'm doing obviously, is putting your noodles in your water that you already had boiling. I had that boiling before I changed my into my pajamas. Um, also, yes, my elbows are not ashy on this one. Ha 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 ha! Fool me once, yes. Uh, so, and what I'm gesturing right there, I went ahead and turned off uh, the flame on our sauce. Uh, just let it cool down, and it will thicken up that way, and it did for me. Um, bam! I have a little bit of butter in my skillet. Uh, and what, what I'm going to do now, have the heat on low for that. I'm going to go ahead and saute my mushrooms also have a little bit of butter in my cast iron skillet for my steaks yes two hands double fist in equals mad skills yo you see that mad skills right there um yeah so you're gonna want to go ahead and sauce your pan i'm just doing this so it doesn't my steaks uh they don't stick and plus it, it does give it a little bit of flavor yes it does um so now i'm going ahead and yeah there we go my, my fresh rooms right here. Fresh rooms. Fresh rooms, son. That won't make you see weird stuff. The snozberries taste like right snozberries. Yeah. <laughs> that was like no joke. Yeah. But anyways, uh, go ahead and put your mushrooms in uh, your skillet with your butter that's in there. And once again, I, I like to cook on low heat. And usually you want to do this on low heat. Bam, olive oil. Yes. Go ahead and dash it up a little bit. Spice it up a little bit. Uh... You can put salt and pepper on your, you know, on your mushrooms, but I didn't do that. Uh, just go ahead and saute these. I like to saute mine uh, nice and brown. You see how they're white right now? So uh, go ahead and mix those up a little bit. 
And we're gonna go ahead and take a moment of silence while I sit this glossy. Ah. Now we have the steak, yeah! Let's go! Hashtag, what's up? Am I Colby voice, baby Colby Guzman? Yes. Uh, I went in here and put on my steaks now. That first one I put on was my filet, and this second one I'm putting on is my New York. Yeah, let's go. So, uh, I'm cooking these on low heat. Alrighty. Bam. Smell good. Yeah, he looks good. Smell it. Smell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him know. Let him know. Uh, uh, stir up. Go ahead and stir up your uh, mushrooms. They're sitting there sauteing. Yummy. Yummy. And then you got your steaks over there cooking. I like my steaks uh, rare. So that's how I'm going to cook my steak rare. Damn near mooing. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's going to be fire. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, I just added a little bit of salt to my noodles. It will make your noodles cook faster. I hear it's supposed to give it a little bit more flavor. If it does, uh, I don't really, I can't really tell the difference. Uh, but I know it will make your noodles cook faster. Uh, so I'm still stirring um, my sauteed mushrooms and my olive oil and butter. Uh, just waiting for it to get that brown that, uh, that I like. And that's when you know it's done. Uh, so I have my steak here that I am going to flip. I am a one-time flipper with my steaks. Uh, meaning I just flip it once, cook one side and flip it once. And that's how I do it. Uh, like I said before, I like my steak rare. Um, damn near mooing. Moo. Yes. Uh, and as you can see, my uh, sautéed mushrooms are um, done. Uh, they have that nice coated uh, brownness that I like to them. And my steak is smelling fabulous, as I gestured earlier. Um, go ahead and stir your noodles up. And... We're gonna take a moment of silence. Wow, I said this is And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I am now uh, cranking out the double fist. Um, stirring my noodles and finishing my mushrooms. Go ahead and cut your flame off for your mushrooms because they are done. Yes, as you've seen, as I gestured, those bad boys are finished. Yes. Uh, so what I do, I just scoot them all the way up to the side uh, or to the edge of my skillet. I don't take them out. I just let it just keep cooking because I, I was cooking them on low heat anyway, so it's not going to burn it. So it's fine. Next, I'm going to add olive oil to my um, noodles that so they don't stick and my your water won't boil. Um, like overly boil or boil over um so bam sauce is done bam noodles are done yes drained all the water out of your noodles and then i put the noodles back in the pan which i am now going to lay the sauce over yes nice and thick fire uh it looks like chunks are in there but it's not there was no chunks in my sauce i don't know why it looked like that but uh, it, it is thick. It has a nice uh, thick texture to it. I know it looks like it's pouring uh, really fast, but it did turn out thick as I let it set uh, for a while. And then now all I'm going to do is mix that up. Yes, take a look at that, and you will get a close-up here while I sip on my cup. I see it. Yes, and for those that are just tuning in, we are making steak, uh, cheesy steak Alfredo with your boy Johnny Five Now. Yeah, Jay Sterling the Grub. Uh, I'm your chef for the night. Taste it. I have that on my nose. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, follow your boy at facebook.com slash Jay Sterling 309, instagram.com uh, slash Jay Sterling 309, Twitter jay sterling 309 and my soundcloud for music jay sterling 309 reverb nation jay sterling freshboyenc.com and youtube subscribe at jay sterling or you can always just type in jay sterling the grub or jay sterling and now right here we have the finished product turn off the lights 
and light a candle look at that ladies and gentlemen oh my goodness oh my goodness that looks amazing and I tell you it was amazing yes with uh, some red wine there a candle and um, I it, it just sets off any mood you make this for your spouse and it, they come home to this <laughs> special treatment is coming your way you know what I mean wink wink sit back relax and enjoy I meant the food uh, but anyways yes right here also I, I made another bowl and this one right here is the filet uh, Alfredo and I added the Parmesan on this one the first one didn't have the Parmesan on top of it but I had some Parmesan left over and grated fresh grated Parmesan um, that I sprinkled on top of this and right here is my favorite the New York strip they both are amazing but I like New York strip steaks um, because of the fat it has the fat and I think the fat uh, absorbs a lot of the flavor and it's, it just tastes really good in my opinion but they both were amazing to each their own whichever you like whatever your preference is but this, this right, right here is my sway. so good oh my god just look at that ladies and gentlemen um, if you decide to make this, feel free to comment below or, you know, zap me up on Facebook or wherever, Twitter, and show me your pictures, how it came out. Let me know how it came out, but look at that. Nice and cheesy, and it just tastes amazing. It doesn't get any better than that. No, it does not. Especially if you add a little bit of red wine to it, uh, it sets the mood. Like I said, light a candle. If your significant other comes home and sees you have made this, yes. Love me, long time is in order. <laughs> wink, wink. Follow me uh, and like Jay Sterling on Facebook, Jay Sterling 309. Instagram, Jay Sterling 309. Twitter, Jay Sterling 309. SoundCloud, Jay Sterling 309. And YouTube, subscribe, Jay Sterling. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I really appreciate you tuning in and supporting your boy. Uh, I hope you guys try this recipe out. Uh, let me know how it went for you. And uh, much love, man. Peace out. Johnny Five now, yeah. Jay Sterling.